Harness racing certainly enjoyed its share of stars in 2013, resulting in numerous unprecedented performances and world records, epic battles, and a fiery Horse of the Year debate that will continue to rage on long after the trophies are handed out. Here's a look at all 12 divisions and the Dan Patch Award picks. It's no surprise Hall of Famer Jimmy Tactor had a lock on the top two-year-old trotters. And in the Philly department, Shake It Carey made her biggest statements in the Mary Annabelle and the Breeders' Crown, both with stakes records. Ron Pierce drove the daughter of Donato Hanover, who will likely face several rematches with world champion Cooler Schooner in 2014. Jimmy Tactor and Yannick Jingra have had nothing but high praise for the standout two-year-old trotter of 2013, Father Patrick. After losing his second paramutual start, the Cantab Hall Colt reeled off nine in a row, including major wins in the Peter Houghton Memorial, William Wellwood Memorial, and Breeders' Crown, making Father Patrick the early favorite for the 2014 Hamiltonian. Even though she finished eighth as the beaten favorite in the Breeders' Crown, Precocious Beauty had done enough damage on both sides of the border for Doug and Greg McNair. The Art Major Philly fashioned a six-race winning streak, which included the She's a Great Lady at Mohawk and both Grand Circuit events at the Red Mile. The homebred posted a world record of 150-1 and, and banked almost half a million dollars. All it took was $3,000 and a dream, and David Maneri cashed in on the undefeated He's Watching. The king of the New York Sire Stakes went eight for eight with two world records and numerous track records and just under $300,000 with Jim Morrill Jr. in the bike. Half interest in the son of American Ideal was sold to Mascara Racing Trust. Trainer Nifty Norman's knack for trotting fillies produced the richest of all time in 2013 with the undefeated Horse of the Year favorite, Be a Magician. The daughter of Cadabra didn't need any hocus pocus to dominate her division, punctuated by a world record of 151 in the Stanley Dancer and a stakes record in both the Hamiltonian Oaks and Breeders' Crown. It certainly didn't hurt to have Brian Sears in the sulky either, en route to a Trotter of the Year slam dunk. The long, tough road through key victories in the Hamiltonian and Canadian Trotting Classic led to a scratch in the Breeders' Crown. Yet royalty for life's $1.3 million season may have been enough to edge the very consistent Spider Blue Chip. Brian Sears teamed up with trainer George Ducharme to give royalty for life, a homebred by RC Royalty, a well-deserved spotlight. Firmly entrenched in the Horse of the Year conversation, I Love the Nightlife carved out a dominant 12-race winning streak in a million-dollar season for Tim Tetrick and trainer Chris Ryder. The Rock and Roll Hanover filly with a mark of 148-4 and four scored major wins in the Fan Hanover, James Lynch Memorial, Mistletoe Chalet, Miss New Jersey, Valley Forge, Jugget, and Breeders' Crown. The 2013 season presented near-perfect conditions to sail with the captain. Captain Treacherous from the great first crop of some beach somewhere was the sport's leading money winner with over $2 million, had his sights on Horse of the Year, and was looking for back-to-back -back Pacer of the Year honors. With Tim Tietrich driving for trainer Tony Alanya, the Colt with a flair for the dramatic captured the North American Cup, Max Hemp, Meadowlands Pace, Kane Pace, Bluegrass, Tattersalls, Breeders' Crown, and American Nationals. Emerging from the shadows of Check Me Out as a three-year-old, Maven came back with a late-season surge in 2013, which included two world records and a crushing Breeders' Crown victory for Yannick Jingra and trainer Jonas Sarnison. The millionaire daughter of Glidemaster even faced the boys in the American National and finished second to market share. After coming out with a flurry in 2013, Market Share had to bounce back from a seven-race losing skid to prevail in a wide-open division for older trotters for Tim Tetrick and trainer Linda Toscano. The 2012 Hamiltonian hero romped in the Maple Leaf Trot in July, but then it wasn't until late October when he won the Breeders' Crown by a nose, then steamrolled in both the American National and the TVG Free-for-All Trot Final. In a tough competitive division, Rocklamation may have a slight edge over two-time defending champion Andrew Vett. The potent combination of Yannick Jingra and trainer Ron Burke were front and center in a division of the Golden Girls and the Milton Stakes. The consistent five-year-old by Rock and Roll Hanover was also second in the Betsy Ross, the Artiscape and Breeders' Crown, and third in the Roses Are Red, Lady Liberty and Allarage Farms. In one of the tightest Dan Patch Award races, Foiled again earned the nod over Pet Rock in the open pace category. 
driven by Yannick Jingra and trained by Ron Burke, who broke his own records with over 1,000 wins and $20 million in 2013. The nine-year-old two-time defending champion by Dragon Again twice beat Pet Rock by a nose in the Ben Franklin and Breeders' Crown and capped his late-season role with a dramatic victory in the TVG free-for-all pace final, making him Harness Racing's first $6 million horse. The Dan Patch Awards honors harness racing's finest, and there was certainly no shortage of standouts and tight races in 2013, including a great battle for Horse of the Year. The votes will be tallied, the stars will gather, and the hardware will be handed out on one stellar night, Sunday, February 23rd.